Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and it is an exciting day because we're standing outside a house flip I just purchased, and this is a weird one. Um, we'll show you why it's so weird. There's multiple reasons, and um, Nikki, my project manager, who you know goes through all these properties with me as well, said this is probably one of the creepiest houses she's been in, and she's been in a lot. She's the one who coined the term murder room. Uh, a few years ago on my properties, which is like weird rooms in the basement where someone may have been murdered. And this one, she said, probably is the weirdest house she's been in and gave her the creepiest vibe. So it was weird. I'm not going to lie. It's a strange setup. Lots of strange things going on. It hasn't been clean for a long time. We got, got lots of stuff in there from the previous owner. So yeah, it, it's interesting. And this property is actually really close to one of my rentals a block away. And it's like two blocks away from my laundromat, if you guys follow those videos, the good laundromat. So it's very close to where we're doing stuff. And it did have a sweet intercom. Don't think it worked, but it's pretty sweet. So I bought this from the MLS, paid $282,000 for it. It's probably worth close to $400,000, but it will need some work. And you can see part of the deal was they left all the stuff. So I think it looks exactly the same as when I first saw it as it does now. It's got some good things going for it. It's got hardwood floors on most of the main floor. It's got some sweet couches. No, the couches aren't that great. <laughs> and it's got some amazing jackets. But it's got some really weird stuff we will show you here. And if you've been watching my shorts or some of my previews, you'll see or you'll know what some of that weird stuff is. Uh, it used to be a three-bedroom, but this room, they kind of converted to a dining room. If you see that doorway over there on the left, that is just open kind of to the kitchen stair area. A little bit of water damage there, <laughs> um, but they kind of took away its bedroom status by making that open hallway with no door. So we'll probably turn this back in just to a regular bedroom. I don't think most people are gonna be using it for a dining room. And when I go through these houses and they leave lots of stuff, I'll peek around and look at some of the stuff, but I usually don't go through all of it. I just don't have the time. It's usually very, very dirty. It makes me sneeze a lot. Um, it's just not as much fun as you think it would be. And there's been a couple of houses where we found some okay stuff, but for the most part, people are just gonna leave you the stuff they don't want and mostly junk. So it's usually not worth it going through everything and looking at it. And how we'll handle it is we'll just let our contractors come through, trash it out. And if they wanna take stuff or sell it or whatever, they are welcome to do that and keep whatever profit they might make from it but um we're usually not doing that and we've had some people too say well you just need to donate all this stuff to um, goodwill or habitat for humanity they'll come pick it up they won't so there might be some areas where they will come pick up stuff i've looked at basically all the places and they don't have pickup um, they're very specific on they don't want couches beds furniture things like that for the most part and you can drive it to them and they may or may not take it but they're not going to come pick it up and they might come look at some of it but they're going to charge you to do that and they've really just gone to it they just want good stuff for the most part they don't want all this other stuff so it doesn't really make sense for us to donate this stuff and it's i mean it's not in good shape either so more intercoms <laughs> and you can see it has some weird custom closets but that might be because of this there is something really strange going on here. This is kind of a hallway closet now. But as you can see, there's plumbing right there. And then there's a hole in the wall for an old vanity. But the bathroom's over here. So I'm thinking they must have had a second bath or this was completely reconfigured or they redid the first bath. I'm not sure. It's got kind of a cool car, but that doesn't help us solve the bathroom mystery, unfortunately. And you can see that vanity's way out Then the bathrooms over here. Um, the other conundrum is I thought, well, maybe they had two bathrooms side by side, a hall bath and a master bath. But this bathroom kind of abuts to the second bedroom. It wasn't the master bedroom. The other, master, the other bedroom in that corner was way bigger. So it's strange. Not sure what's going on there, but I kind of want to figure it out. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the river house a little bit. Yeah, there's a fan in there too. Um, where we completely remodeled that house, but after I bought it, we removed a bunch of stuff and we literally found a half bath that was hiding that no one told us about with an attached toilet. It was just open in a room and covered with, with junk. 
Um, so something weird there. Now, they claim this property, I found an old MLS sheet from like 2003, was completely remodeled in 2003. Now, that's 20 years ago now, which seems crazy, but this really doesn't look like even a 2023 kitchen to me, especially that stove. That stove is ancient or oven, I should say. So maybe they redid some of it, but it sure looks like, for the most part, um, it's a much, much older remodel than that. Now, I want to check in the basement real quick. Don't worry. We'll go through the basement and all of the amazing stuff down there soon. But I want to check out these drain, pi drain pipes and see what is going on. Now, if you watch my shorts and stuff, like I said, you'll know what's going on down here. Besides the drains, <laughs> it's crazy. But um, there are some hints right there. Here's below those bathrooms. And there's drains everywhere. So I don't know exactly if they, they must have had two bathrooms at some point. You can't really see over there. There's a big drain there, big drain on the left, a smaller drain, another drain, huge drain pipe right in the middle of your basement bathroom. That makes sense. So yeah, uh, I don't know if we can figure that out. Maybe my plumber will have some ideas on what is going on there. I love a good mystery in figuring out what is happening <laughs> with these properties. All right. So that's a sneak peek at the basement, but let's really take a look at this basement and see. Now the first hint is that picture right there, skateboarding, vans, and um, I was trying to figure out when a lot of this happened that we'll show you here in a second. But in the 2003 MLS sheet, it mentioned nothing about what's going on in the basement or the backyard. And the backyard actually showed it as a nice backyard without all of it too. But a lot of the pictures and people in those pictures dated back to the 90s. So I guess with someone who just really enjoyed 90s stuff and then um, built it all sometime after 2003. But everything's so dirty down here. It looks like it hasn't been touched or used in years and years and years. And that penny, I think, was 1973. It's been touched since then. But um, there was some weird stuff I found in here, too. I'll show you in just a second. Like I said pictures all over um very dark very gloomy down here quite dirty and lots of different stuff all over the place now um this is part of the reason why nikki thinks it, thought it was so creepy it's just because it looked like no one had been down here except maybe use a laundry for decades but we know that's not the case based on when it was sold so and when this stuff was done, but it, it's a strange one. And here's your laundry room. Again, random stuff all over. Who knows if there's good stuff or interesting stuff in there. I didn't go through much of any of it at all. Um, laundry detergent, hopefully. <laughs> and then uh, boxes, more weird stuff. And back here, you've got um, helmets, pads, your old water heater, and actually the furnace is relatively newer so that's kind of cool a sweet sleeping bag if anybody wants that and so that's one good sign and then over here on the left i can't really show it were some interesting magazines we'll just say that um in a raiders poster i'm a bronco fan so that's not cool to have a raiders poster in there but that's okay but yeah some very interesting magazines that i can't show and um over here is a really crazy part that I've shown you before and we'll show you again in all its glory right now. I think that was a heat vent. At first I'm like, what's this random thing here? But I think that was a vent from the furnace. So here is what we've been talking about. You've got your crazy bathroom there, which we already showed. And then we'll get the light turned on. Voila. This is a skate park in the basement. Now, a little weird, right? There's lots of bike parks. I should say a BMX um, park too, right? Not just skating. So there's, there's actually still bike frames, tires, wheels down here. And that is solid concrete that they poured and dropped along the walls. Again, I don't know how long it's been since it's been used. Um, quite a while. Of course, they blacked out the windows, which were already covered up and not really letting any light in. So 
Don't know what that's all about. Um, yeah, it's weird down here. <laughs> and I was going to tear down that one, but then I kept seeing the massive spider webs all over it and realized if I do tear that down, a giant spider might jump at me. So I decided not to do that. Uh, those are hundreds of cigarette butts all over down here. Could be the reason why it smells so smoky in the house. And then, um, yeah, the photos and pictures and stuff that all seem to date kind of to the 90s. But like I said, this wasn't done in the 90s from everything we could tell it was done afterwards. So this was a pretty hip, cool place back in the day if you were into BMX and skateboarding. That's for sure. And smoking. <laughs> and dark, weird gloominess. And here are those spider webs I saw about. So, I mean, it looks like that window hasn't been open for ever. And yeah, lights, concrete, the craziness just keeps going on and on and on. It will be really interesting to see what this place looks like once we get it cleaned up a little bit and to see what all is here because there's so much stuff just all over the place. And then yeah, here's the bathroom again, more pictures, more photos. It looks like it hasn't been used or at least the water been turned on forever. Bike frame, tires, and who knows? Maybe that stuff is worth something. I have no idea. Um, my son does a little bit of BMX. I did a tiny bit when I was a kid, but you know, I wasn't like into it that much like this. I wasn't, you know, I could do a wheelie, maybe a bunny hop, but I wasn't, you know, doing 360 jumps off rails or anything like that. I don't even know if they do that, but that would be pretty cool. So that's the basement and the backyard gets crazy too. And I almost forgot before I got to the backyard. Look at this thing I found. Um, I don't know if you could see that. I don't know if it was legal. I'm sure it's not. It was like brass knuckles with a knife attached to it. And there's your BMX bike trophy. So we found some weird stuff um, down here. But yeah, that one was crazy. And then, of course, we've got the backyard, which fits quite nicely with this basement. It does have AC. That's nice. And the picture from the MLS on this, the backyard looked so, so nice. It had a pond, tons of nice landscaping. And obviously over the years, that has changed just a little bit. Um, grill, golf balls, stuff all over. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get into the garage, but we did get into the garage. So of course there's interesting stuff in there too. Um, again, if any of this stuff is valuable, I don't know it. And usually people leave the stuff that isn't valuable. But yeah, I was taking a peek in here just in case I couldn't get in there. It's actually not a bad garage. Now they closed off the front door, you know, actually put a car in here, but it's not bad if we would fix that and make it functional again. Like I said, I hop in there and do see that later. But here's the real interesting stuff. Um, of course, there's water leaking when you have your open window. But in the backyard, more sheds. There's that pond. Weird trees and rocks and stuff all over. Like I said, I bet this place was really cool at one point. But it's definitely um, had some neglect over the years. A couple of more sheds, just in case you need more storage lawnmower and those i believe were like grow light ballasts or something so of course they were growing some stuff at some point somewhere around here who knows maybe those are worth something too i don't know i haven't priced those lately <laughs> and here is the remnants of the outdoor skate park which like i said didn't look like it was there in 2003 but it certainly looks like it's been there a long time and another shed a sweet couch who doesn't need a couch in their shed and um, other random stuff, but um, nothing too interesting in there. But this skate park um, was crazy. And, uh, it'll be really interesting to see once we get the yard cleaned up and what all is there, what's underneath there, what they had. There's a half pipe, possibly another half pipe, the other stuff going up and down, different ramps. Like there was some crazy stuff going on. They spent some time on this, obviously. And yeah, I keep calling it a skate park, but maybe it's a BMX um, 
bike park instead. Maybe they're still called the skate park. I'm not sure. But I know uh, it looked like a lot more biking going on with the pictures and different stuff than skating. Uh, and then, yeah, just the landscaping at one point was beautiful back here. Tons of work into it, but uh, it's not so much anymore. Gigantic tree trunk. Luckily, most of that tree is gone, but uh, we may have to take out the rest of it. That thing is huge. And of course, a little pass with shrubberies on the sides and um, more interesting landscaping features like posts with ropes tied around them and strange, but at one point, probably really cool. And then, yeah, I was able to get into the garage, which is not too crazy, but some, you know, you've got yourself a giant swamp cooler, a fridge, more random trash and stuff. It looks like it hasn't been touched forever. And I think some more grow fans or lights or something in there too. So maybe this is where their operation was. Who knows? It's legal to do that in Colorado now up to a certain point. Um, I, I don't know all the laws and rules on that. But um, yeah, well, there's an old Monopoly game. I think I missed that in my first look through. And yep, it's an interesting property, that's for sure. So we'll get, clean this out first. Then we'll get to work on it. You know, it'd be awesome if... We found someone who wanted to skate, park, or BMX bike inside, but probably not going to happen, so we're probably going to have to take that out. But we'll do another video after we get it cleaned up and see exactly what's going on here and get a better look for the property and house and what we want to do. But we will have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. So we'll have an update on this pretty soon. We've got a crew ready to go on this right away, so you won't have to wait too long for that update. All right, love to hear what you think. We'll have more videos on our flips, rentals, commercial properties, laundromats, all that coming up very soon.